Welcome to Puzzles and Solutions. The three square problem asks, given these three angles, A, B, and C, what is the sum of the three angles? You're only allowed to use basic geometry, so you're not allowed to use trigonometry. The three square problem originated from a Russian math book for fourth graders, but I wasn't able to track down which one exactly. Many years later, in 1996, Martin Garner published this article which popularized the problem to the Western world. Ever since then, the problem has been popular on the internet, and personally, I met the problem five years ago in this number five video. I will give you five seconds to pause the video and try to figure out how to solve the puzzle. After the five seconds, I will provide the best solution. I hope you were able to solve it by yourself, if you weren't able to, I will provide one more hint in my explanation and you can choose if you want to pause or not. The hint is that if you for example look at angle B, we can scale the squares up or down as we please and the angle will remain the same. Okay, that was my hint, so how could you use this information to solve the puzzle? Let's move angle B back and now focus only on the squares. I want to add an extra row above and below. If we connect the corners together in this way, we get bigger squares that are tilted towards the right. So how does this help us solve the puzzle? If we take angle B, mirror it to the top, followed by rotation and scaling it up to the size of these two squares, we can see how the line goes from the bottom left of the first square to the top right of the last square. This is exactly how the line for angle A is, but angle B is on the opposite side of the line. We can easily see how angle A and B adds up to equaling angle C. Just to quickly show you that the line for angle A and B is the same, let's hide angle B. And now hiding angle A and adding angle B back, we still have the same line. Okay, so angle A and B adds up to equaling angle C. Angle C of course is 45 degrees, based on the fact that it divides a 90 degree angle perfectly in half, meaning that angle A plus angle B is also 45 degrees. So A plus B plus C is 90 degrees. I will leave a link to the number five video down below. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye bye.